Hello. So we've been talking about optimism and why it's so important, not just in terms of attitude, but the fact that optimistic children tend to be more successful in life, in their careers and in their relationships um, and really all round. And then in the last video, we were looking at what sort of parent you might be yourself. What sort of attitude are you modelling for your children? Are you an optimist or are you a pessimistic parent? And we gave you some hints and guidance on how you might want to start looking at that and tackling that if you are on the pessimistic side. But the good news is, is that not only is optimism a teachable skill, but even if you are the most pessimistic of souls, there are a couple of things that you can do to help foster optimism in your children that have nothing to do with your own attitude. Now, the first is very simply to be affectionate. Now, I'm sure if you are watching this video, you are already supremely affectionate towards your children. But just a little bit of reassurance that by providing the, all that affection, you provide them with a safe place and they can start to feel good about themselves and about the world around them. And they can trust themselves, they can trust people and they can trust that the world is a great place from which they can go out and have adventures. And whilst we're on that topic, the second thing that you want to do is encourage them to have those adventures. So by showing yourself with all that love and affection as being a safe harbour for them to go out from and then return to when they need to, they can bit by bit start to explore the world and see it as an exciting place for them to adventure out into, always knowing that they can come back to you when they need to or when they want a little bit of break or reassurance from this world. So encouraging them to take risks is really important. Now, obviously, those risks are going to be age appropriate. You're not going to take a child who's just come off the stabilizers on their bike um, or for a mountain bike ride. But very gently, little by little, helping them build the trust in themselves and in their ability to do new things and to explore new things in the world all provides great foundations for optimism going forward. So that's it, really. Up the affection and encourage them to take risks. And you're already well on your way to having a much more optimistic child.